What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon or in this case Studio Ghibli. Today I am checking out this advent calendar although technically it's not called an advent calendar it's called 12 Days of Charms which depicts the world of Studio Ghibli. And yes, it is Studio Ghibli, not Ghibli, because that's the way that Miyazaki says it. This was released at Hot Topic for $19.90. I was interested in this because I also purchased a Sailor Moon 12 Days of Jewelry set. Now, if you saw my unboxing of the Sailor Moon one, then you know my thoughts. I decided to get this one too to see if I would be more impressed by this one or if I would be disappointed in it. It's kind of hard to say when it comes to Hot Topic jewelry, so so let's go ahead and check it out and see how these charms look. Now again, if you are interested in anything Studio Ghibli, then definitely check out the rest of my channel where I have been introducing some new Studio Ghibli items to my channel that I picked up from Japan on my last visit. On the inside of this 12 Days of Charms, we do have a magnetic closure, which I appreciate. Now, even though the front of it features Totoro from my neighbor Totoro, on the interior, we have a bunch of different shows depicted. So we have Howl's Moving Castle, Totoro, Ponyo. We have Kiki's Delivery Service, um, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, and yeah, I think that's all of them. Let's see, Totoro, Kiki, Mononoke, Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, and Ponyo. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my guess, my guess is that we will get two charms for each of the different shows. I'm curious if the doors, these front doors, actually depict the charm that is going to be inside of it. So let's go ahead and start with day one and go all the way to day 12. If you've never seen an advent calendar, these are kind of a Christmas tradition. Lots of companies do them. Uh, Sephora came out with one and it was super fun and cute. So I saw these anime inspired ones and I was like, I have to get these. <laughs> Most people will just do one door per day or you can be impatient like I am and unbox every single day all at once. Oh, and on the very first page, do we have two? two yeah. Okay. So we have a Totoro charm in there on the Totoro door. Let's go ahead and tear that guy out. Come here, you little sucker. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Whole thing out. Oh Lord. This thing is stuck in there. Okay. There we go. So here we have a nice silver necklace chain and this very cute little charm of Totoro. I love that it's painted, and I love that you have quite a bit of detail going into that charm. That's cute. Okay, adorable, like it, very cute. Let's move on to door number two. This is a bit, ugh, there we go. Okay, here we have charm number two. Uh, I appreciate that the charms are the right way. Oh, oh no, ah, ponyo. Okay, there we go. Here we have a cute little ponyo charm. That's adorable as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one's cute. And it does match with the door, which my guess means that we'll get the scarecrow in this one. Am I correct? Yes, cool. Oh, these are fun. I love that they're all painted really well. Lots of detail in the enamel and lots of detail in the metal work. So I appreciate the thin lines in between all the details, which allows for it to kind of accent the actual art for these characters. So that's really cute. Let's move on to door number four. Oh, yay! So cute. So here we have Calcifer. He's from Howl's Moving Castle. Calcifer's great, such a cute little character. That's adorable. I know there's a lot of Calcifer fans out here, so you would probably really, really like this cute little charm. That's adorable. All right, next up we got a Kiki's door. Do we get the key, kitty? Please tell me it's Gigi. Oh, it's Gigi, yay. That's cute. Oh, I love that her fur is kind of a matte black. That's cool. I like that it's not painted enamel and that it's actually like a matte black charm. Very nice, nicely done. Love it. Door number six. Let's check it out. Ooh, suit sprite, yeah. Oh no, I tore it. Oh, this thing is so cheap. Oh God. The packaging on here is very, very cheap. Here we have a suit sprite. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. So cute. I love that he has a couple of little candy stars. That's so cute. Oh goodness. All of these are adorable so far. Let's move on to day number seven. Now does this one have, who's in this box? We got two characters on there from Spirit to the Way. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. Wow. Wow. That is very pretty. 
Ooh, it's kind of iridescent too. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is very, very pretty. Here we have the dragon from Spirited Away. So I'm kind of glad that it's Haku and not Chihiro because I feel like Haku, like having this beautiful dragon is so pretty. So far, this is my favorite one, not only because of the size, it's a little bit larger, but also because it's so iridescent. Like that's really well made. That's so pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so that was day seven. Day eight, my guess is we're gonna get some forest spirits. The little Kodamas, oh my God, it's a Kodama. <gasps> That's cool. So this Kodama is a white metal or white plastic with little black eyes. I love the little forest spirits, so cool. Okay, that's awesome. I love that Princess Mononoke is represented in this calendar, that's so cool. Day number nine, got another Ponyo one. Oh. What is that? Oh, it's the pail. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Okay, for this one, we have the pail from Ponyo. That is so funny. If you haven't seen Ponyo, it's such a cute movie. It's very cute. It's not one of my favorites, but it's so cute. Day 10, Kiki. Kiki's bow. Oh my gosh, it has little gemstones on it. What a surprise. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny and sparkly. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, we got a whole bunch of little red gemstones in Kiki's bow. They could have just made this a red plastic bow, but they decided to put gemstones in it. That's a nice little touch. I appreciate that. Thank you for the addition of some little sparkles. Very cute. Now we have no face on day 11, which my guess is it's a no face charm. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but that's even better. Look, it's no face with the little bath tokens. Oh, that's precious. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. All right, let's move on to day number 12, which is Princess Mononoke. So that's, I'm gonna guess her mask because that's a pretty common thing to see. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna close that, get that out of the way. And here we have day 12 which is her mask. Oh, it's not quite printed in the lines though. So slight disappointment there is the printing is a little off on this mask. So it would have been way cooler if they printed it in the lines or at least had some quality control and caught that during manufacturing. So that is all 12 days of charms from the Studio Ghibli collection. I'm gonna put these all next to each other and then we'll talk about it. So here we have all the charms laid out side by side along with the actual advent calendar packaging. So I will say that the packaging is kind of hard to get all the different charms out of and it does tear easily as you can see here. So it's not something that I would be super excited about displaying or anything. Like I would probably just trash this after using it. It would be nice if it was something that was a little bit more reusable or something that I could display without it getting destroyed in the process. The charms here are very cool. I like that you have so many different movies represented in this Studio Ghibli calendar. If it was just Totoro or something like that, then it wouldn't really be Studio Ghibli. It would be a Totoro calendar, for example. So I love that you have Ponyo over here, Princess Mononoke with two from there, Howl's Moving Castle. We have one for Totoro, just the one. We have three different ones for Spirited Away. However, suit sprites show up in a few different movies. And then we have Kiki's Delivery Service, for two. The suit sprites also show up in My Neighbor Totoro as well. So, I mean, technically you could say that we got two Totoro ones, two Howls, two Spirited, two Kiki, two Ponyo, two Mononoke. That's honestly not bad. And I really like this selection of characters that they chose. I think my favorite ones are definitely Haku. He's adorable. Totoro, Kiki's little Gigi is adorable. And I love the little jeweled bow. These are precious. However, there's so many other good ones in here, like the forest spirit, the little Kodama. That one's really cute. The suit sprite. I think my favorite ones are the ones that have more of a like 3D effect to them, as opposed to something that's just printed in enamel like this. So that is the Studio Ghibli 
12 Days of Charms. Let me know what you think below. I think personally, I find this one to be more appealing than the Sailor Moon charm set. I was hoping I would love the Sailor Moon charm set, but I did not find a lot of variety there. I felt like it was very simple. This one has a lot more variety and they could have done that with the Sailor Moon one or made the charms a little bit bigger and more detailed. Like these are fairly detailed. There's a lot of things going on here and they're both the same price. So they could have given us more going on with the Sailor Moon one for the same price as well. And then I could say like, oh, they're both equal. If you didn't see that video yet, definitely check it out on my YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe right below this video. And don't forget to comment about your own thoughts too. I would love to know what you think of the advent calendars that we got this year for Sailor Moon and Studio Ghibli. If you got questions, feel free to leave those down below as well. I love answering your questions too. Make sure to enter my giveaway. If you haven't seen that yet, it will be posted here. I'm doing a really big giveaway. I can't wait to share it with everybody if it's not posted yet, but it should be. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to go eat something like Usagi does all the time, and I will see you next time. Jane.